Mama Carol, I don't get to see you very often because I live far, far away from you. But I wanted to tell you how much I love you and how much I miss you. I'm going to throw you a big kiss again. Mwah. So you know what I'm going to do? I've got a book I want to read to you. It's called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's a really cute story, and I think you're really going to like it. I love you. Giraffes Can't Dance. Written by Giles Andre. Illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Evelyn, can you find two zebras in the picture? I can see them, they're laughing. And there's an elephant up by the trees. I see him, can you? I see Gerald the giraffe. He's watching all the animals dance. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey there, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Evelyn, can you see the big bright moon in the sky and the pretty stars? I see a little cricket standing on a leaf and talking to Gerald. Can you find the little cricket too? Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body doing the most amazing thing. Evelyn, can you see the cricket? He has his violin. He's playing beautiful music for Gerald. His hoofs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail 
was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and he leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Evelyn, can you see Gerald? He's so high in the sky from dancing, he can see all the animals on the ground. I can find an owl, can you? I also see a lion up in the corner, roaring, and a bat just down below. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we ever, ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Evelyn, I hope you enjoyed reading the book Giraffes Can't Dance. But we found out giraffes can dance and so can we if we have our own music to dance to. I bet you can dance to your own music. I love you, Grandma Carol.